In this video, I'm gonna go over split squat variations and how to analyze your technique and some of the compensations you'll tend to see. So the first view that we're gonna take is from straight on, whether I'm doing a rear foot elevated split squat or just a normal body weight split squat, front foot elevated split squat, doesn't matter. The same thing is gonna happen, so I'm just exacerbate some of these um, compensations a little bit more than the others. But in the bottom position, what you wanna see is the knee, the foot, and the hip be basically in a straight line here. A little bit of variation here, side to side is okay. As soon as that knee travels in past your big toe, you've moved past the point of good motion. Um, you don't wanna see that much of a collapse. You do wanna be put driving through that big toe, but again, the knee will move with it a little bit, but it shouldn't go to these kinds of extremes, okay? So that's what you should be looking at from a straight on. The second thing is gonna be the position, the hips. What you'll see if you run out of motion as you drop into the split squat, is your hips will start to tilt, okay? You'll see one side elevate. You can see this sometimes a little bit better from behind. So again, record yourself or have a partner look at you, but see if that tilt is happening. If it is, it's indicating that you're running out of motion as you drop into that, and you need to work on your mobility work a little bit, or you need to look at things from the other view, which we're gonna go over next. So this is the bottom position. So I'm gonna demo here on a split squat. So as you drop down, your knee, your hip, your shoulder and your ear should be in a straight line. If you're too far forward, you got too wide of a stance, that knee will travel behind your hip. You'll feel a huge stretch through here. Your hips will tilt forward and you'll get a lot of pressure in your back, okay? This is too extended of a position. If you're too close, the knee will be in front of your hip and you'll be crunched up like this. You'll probably have a hard time getting deep into the motion. Um, so again, you wanna be in this nice straight up and down position. From here, you'll see a lot of things go awry. You'll see people lean forward a bunch. This tends to mean that either A, you can't, you don't have the strength to get out of the hole and you're just doing whatever you can uh, to produce motion, uh, or B, you struggle to maintain this position. So again, it's not just being in a straight line, but it's also keeping, having this nice straight um, spinal position from the side. So what you don't wanna see are the hips tucked forward like this, or the back be really arched. You wanna be right in the middle to where your, the distance between your um, ribs to your hips here and your lower back is the same. So you've got evenly distributed tension here and you're not putting all the tension in your lower back, okay? So from again, from the side, straight line, and then as you move up and down, it's okay to let that knee on the forward leg drive out over those toes as long as you're staying in a straight line through here and you're not pitching forward. So those are the things you wanna look for. In a split squat, the only other thing you wanna go over, you wanna look at is what's happening with the trailing leg. What you'll tend to see in a split squat as you drop down is this back leg do some funky things if you're running out of motion in the hips. So you might see that leg rotate out like this. So you'll be at the bottom and their knee or this leg is pointed in that direction despite the hips and the forward leg pointed straight ahead. Again, that's an indication that you're running out of motion here in the hips in this bottom position and you need to work on your mobility a little bit. Sometimes it can be a cueing thing. So first try to focus it through just what your cues that you're using, the technique. If you can't get there and you just feel yourself hitting a wall, that means you've got to work on some mobility.